Prepare yourself for a magical AI experience because a new challenger has stepped into the local LLM arena and its name is Wizard LM. Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overload, and today we're gonna be talking about Wizard LM, a brand new LLM model that is supposed to be one of the best, if not the best, local LLM model currently. And yeah, I know I'm saying this every week, but hey, that's just how fast AI progress goes. And to be honest, from the testing that I've done off camera, this could actually be true. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at wizard lm how it was trained what makes it so special i will then show you how to install it on your computer and then i will compare the results between wizard lm and vicuña to find out which one of those models is currently the best one so that being said grab your wands grab your spell books and let's go so wizard lm what makes it so special well first of all it is a pretty small 7 billion parameters model that was trained thanks to a brand new technique called evil instruct which basically instead of having people create instructions Instructions, it uses LLMs to generate them automatically and making them more complex to improve the final performance. And what they said in their paper is that sometimes this model can actually outdo ChatGPT. Now you don't necessarily need to know all the ins and outs of how this model was trained. All you need to understand is that Wizard LM is a pretty powerful model that can supposedly follow very complex instructions. And from what a lot of people said online about this model, and even from my own testing of camera, I gotta say Say I was pretty impressed. I got some really really good results. Which is why in this video we're gonna be taking the wizard LM model and comparing the results against the Vicuña 7 billion parameters model. And since they're both 7B model, this is a pretty fair comparison that should result in pretty interesting results. Now if you want to try out the model yourself without downloading anything, you can actually try out these two online demos where you can simply input an instruction and then simply click submit to get a result. And there you go, simple as that. You don't need to download any Anything. It's pretty fast. So if you just want to test out the model without downloading anything, this is a pretty good solution. But in this video, we're going to be using this model inside the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI. Which, if you don't have it installed already, I made an updated video a few days ago where I show you the full installation process. So if you haven't installed the Web UI already, you need to watch this video first. Because once you do, make sure that you're running the latest version of the Web UI by using the update underscore windows.bat file. And when this is done, you're gonna run the start windows.bat file. And then once you are inside the Web UI, we need to download the wizard LM model. And for this, we're gonna be using the 4-bit quantized model created by a user called The Block. Now, unfortunately, because there are so many different models, there are so many different versions, I decided to make your life easier to make an easy to download copy, which is basically the same files that you can find right here, but this time there is only one model that will be downloaded automatically. So basically to download those files, you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, and then you're gonna click on this little icon right here to copy this entire full name. Then you're gonna go inside your web UI, go into model, and here under the load custom model or LoRa, you're gonna press Ctrl V to paste this entire name. And then you're gonna click on download. Now I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it before, but this will basically create a brand new folder inside the models folder for wizard LM, as you can see right here. So once the model is downloaded, you're gonna click here to refresh the list of models. Then you're gonna select the wizard LM. Here for the parameters, make sure that for W bits you select 4, 128 for the group size, and for the model type, you're gonna select Llama. And then you're gonna click on reload the model. And also don't forget to click save settings for this model, so that each time that you load it, all those parameters will be selected automatically, which is gonna make your life way easier. Oh, and also if you want the Vacuña 7B model, if you haven't downloaded it already, I also created an easy to download copy that you can download using the exact same procedure. The link for it will be in the description down below. Okay, so now that we're running Wizard LM, how exactly does it compare to Vacuña? Is it better? Is it worse? Well, just like with my previous comparison videos, I'm gonna be asking these models the same questions, and then I'm gonna analyze the result using GPT-4 to grade them on the scale of 1 to 10. And I will of course tell you what I think, so that this way we have both an objective and subjective opinion. And the first question that I'm gonna ask is, explain the plot of the TV series Breaking Bad. And if you watch my Stable LM video, you would remember that when I asked this question to Stable LM, the answer was a complete disaster. So I'm hoping that this time Wizard LM will do better than Stability AI. So now if I click on Generate, and this is what I got, and oh my god, thank you. I'm happy this is not similar to the Stable LM disaster. Finally, we have something good. 
Okay, so now if I go to models and I choose the Vicuña model and we ask Vicuña the same question and I got something like this, which uh, I gotta say is pretty good. I think I do prefer this explanation over Wizard LM. There are definitely way more details here. But now let's actually ask the opinion of GPT-4. So if I write something like, here are two plot summaries of the TV show Breaking Bad written by two LLM, then the first plot written by Wizard LM and the second plot written by Vicuña and then I ask GPT-4 to rate these plot summaries on a scale from 1 to 10. And now if I press enter, in this case GPT-4 actually rate the wizard LM summary a 9 out of 10 and the Vacunia summary an 8.5 out of 10. And from GPT-4's point of view, the reason why it gave an 8 out of 10 instead of a 9 is the fact that the summary did not mention the show's critical acclaim or awards. Which yes, it is true, but personally if it were me, I do prefer the summary written by Vacunia. It has a lot more details and it even talks about the transformation of the characters throughout the series. So if it were me, I would say that Vukunya is the winner here, but apparently not for GPT-4. So personally, I think that in this case, I would call it a draw. Now, the second test is a test that I do with every NNM model, and that is an article summary. And that is because that's what most people use the NNM models for. So for this example, I simply chose this little article about Grimes, saying that anyone can use our voice for AI-generated songs, which is a pretty short article. So now if I select the full article, and then I'm gonna paste it right here, and then I'm gonna simply ask Wizard LM to summarize this article. And this is the summary that I get. So now let's do the same thing with Vicuña, paste the same prompt, and I get something like this. And now let's again ask GPT-4's opinion. So if I write something like, here are two article summaries written by two LLM, then I input the original article, then the summary written by Wizard LM, then the summary written by Vicuña, and then ask GPT-4 to read the summaries on a scale from 1 to 10. And here's the final rating. Again, Wizard LM get a 9 out of 10 for its precision and comprehensive overview of the main points of the article, whereas Vicuña's summary was rated as 7.5 out of 10. Because for GPT-4, it lacked the additional context about other artists and the broader implications of AI-generated voices in the music industry. Which indeed, I think in this case, Wizard LM's summary was definitely way better. It was just way more precise. So yeah, again, for GPT-4, Wizard LM is definitely the winner here. Okay, so the the next test that I'm gonna do, it's actually a test I've never done before, and it is a simple math test. So if I write something like 2x minus 3 equals minus 7, and I ask to solve for x, which if you have been in school should be pretty easy, and if I click on generate, which gives us something like this, which uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's that's not correct. The final solution it gave is minus 5, when in reality it should be minus 2. So yeah, unfortunately that's a fail for Wizard LM. But now let's try with Vicuña and see if it does better. So again, I'm gonna write the same thing, then click on generate. And I gave even less details with the same results. So yeah, I guess in this case, both NLM completely failed on the task. Now I actually wonder if Vicuña 13 billion parameter model is better. So I'm gonna try with the 13B model, then ask the same question, click on generate. And this is the final result. And actually we got a perfect result. We got a perfectly good answer. So although the 7 billion parameters model was not smart enough, the 13 billion parameter was definitely enough. But of course we can't really compare them fairly because Wizard NM is only a 7 billion parameter model, which uses definitely way less VRAM than the 13 billion parameters Vicuña model, so this is not really a fair comparison. Okay, so the next test we're gonna do is to translate a simple sentence, which is usually where a lot of NLM models completely fails, so I'm really curious to see what kind of results we get, and for this I'm gonna use a very similar sentence that I pretty much use all the time, which is, translate this sentence from English to French. It's so cold outside, I don't want any ice cream. I'd rather drink something hot like cocoa. So now with Wizard LM, if I click on generate and I get something like this which is uh, yeah that's that's not great I mean you can understand the sentence but this is not a really good translation. So now if I do the same thing with Vicuña, then input the same prompt, click on generate, I get something like this which is uh, 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 that's uh, that's pretty bad. Basically it says here, it's so cold outside, I don't want a raspberry ice cream. So this is not what I ask for. So I can already say that for this example, Wizard LM is definitely better than Vicuña. So now if I ask GPT-4 to read this translation, so I input something like, here are two translations of a sentence from English to French, written by two LLM, then I input the original sentence, then the translation written by Wizard LM, and Vicuña, and then of course I ask GPT-4 to rate this translation on a scale 
scale from 1 to 10. And this is the final rating. Wizard NM's translation was an 8 out of 10, whereas Vicuña was rated as 7 out of 10. Now, GPT-4 also, for some reason, started talking about the flavor of the ice cream for the Wizard NM translation, whereas this was something that was introduced by Vicuña, so I don't know why this was mentioned here, but Vicuña's translation was definitely worse, because for some reason he introduced the flavor of raspberry from the ice cream, which was not in the original sentence. But personally, I think in this case, I think that an 8 out of 10 is definitely very, very generous. I would probably rate this sentence a 6 out of 10, and maybe a 4 out of 10 for Vicuña, which again, in this case, Wizard NM is definitely the winner. So another point for Wizard NM. And then finally, for the last test, I'm gonna be using the exact same prompt that I used for every NNM testing. Write the code for an HTML page with a button that when pressed, changes the background to a random color. And this prompt is definitely a hit or miss for most NNM models. Almost no local NNM models can follow this prompt correctly. So I'm very curious to see what kind of results we could get. So now if I click on generate, and it gives me something like this, which uh, uh, actually looks good. I mean, is it me or this code might actually work? Okay, so wait, I'm gonna try it right now. I'm really hoping that it works. So I'm gonna come here, edit my dot pad, input the code, save the file. And now if I launch the page, I get a button that if I press on it, oh, indeed, those change the background color to a random color. Oh my god, it works. I can't believe this. Wizard ML actually did it. Very, very impressive. I mean, this is incredible. So many NNM models were not able to do this. This is really impressive. Because now if I try with the Vacuña model, and I input the same prompt, and I get something like this, which uh, looks okay, but uh, I can already see a few problems with the code, but, but maybe. So I'm gonna copy this code. Then again, edit the notepad, copy the code, and now if I launch the page, I get something like this with a button that if I press on it, uh, yeah, doesn't, doesn't do anything. So yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. But yeah, this actually shows how powerful Wizard LM is. For a 7 billion parameter model, this is really super impressive. And so many other NNM models before that completely failed this task. And those models were definitely bigger than a 7 billion parameter model. So the fact that a 7B model can do that is really super impressive. And the final test that I would like to see is of course to check if this model is censored or not. So if I ask something like this for example, which of course I'm not gonna say out loud on YouTube, and if I click on generate, unfortunately just like Vicuña, it looks like Wizard LM is also completely censored. So yeah, this is really a bummer. So yeah, there you go, this was Wizard LM, which I would say again from all of the testing that I did, is currently the best 7 billion parameter local LM model, beating even the current Vicuña champion. And I really cannot wait until we have a 13 billion parameter model, because if this is the quality that you get for a very simple, very small 7 billion model, imagine how powerful this would be at a 13 billion parameters. This model has a lot of potential. Now I really wish that we could have an uncensored version of that, because this will really make it perfect, and I'm really hoping that this will happen one day. But as of right now, this is what we have, and again for a local 7 billion parameter model, the results are really super impressive. So definitely try it out yourself. And there you have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome, you people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you, so thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.